Start streaming. There we go. Uh, live chat. And launch Dark, Dark Souls. Now, it'll be a bit of a miracle if everything goes okay. Because I am running heavily much. <laughs> Gazoon height. That has been that has been trying to happen for the past sort of maybe twenty seconds. <laughs> oh fair. wow, that came through. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hi VG, welcome, hey. welcome. I apologize if that actually deafened you at all. That was that really was deafening. <laughs> I'll get over it though. Um, wow. So okay, so Dark Souls. Uh, going to be playing through a little bit. It's going to be heavily modified. We're running with DS Fix, so we're going to have the 60 FPS, the nice textures, uh, a couple of random things of my own that I've gotten as far as textures. Uh, nothing too, like, lore-breaking, so things will mostly look natural. Mm. Um, just really, really nice. Uh, and then I've got two mods which completely overhaul the game. I have got one mod, which is called Prepare to Die Again, which reshuffles like enemy locations, uh, changes bonfire locations, and adds a couple of things I've heard as well. I am noticing DSF fix, DS fix, sorry, uh, on the side there saying it's enabled. Yeah, that is just the 60 FPS niceness. And also okay. like, uh, just like making sure that the resolution actually works and we've got borderless window screen, full, uh, borderless full screen, anyway. Um, and then the other mod, Rekindled, that one rebalances weapon stats, armor stats, uh, stuff like that, and makes it to where it tries to make it to where you don't go for the normal weapons that you would normally go to. It tries to balance everything, because very much in the original Dark Souls, some weapons were very much, much better than some of the others. Right. So this tries to, like, fix that issue. All right. If hey, it was an issue at all. Hey, VG, how is the audio balancing? Actually, sounds pretty loud to me. Oh, we've actually got some, uh, some different, uh... Interesting. We've got some different... I don't think that they actually are different. I think they're only named differently, so yeah. Uh, some of the flavor text is gonna be changed, so, like, Loner and Brute here were not in the original. I'm trying to go through this very fast, because obviously, like, I've been through this a million times. I am being called. This this could not be a worse time. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> uh, I will be back in a moment. Sorry. Totally fine. Let me see. That will do just fine. That is so not brown. But then again, my uh, my own color settings might be making it not brown. But you know what? Let's go ahead and use it because that looks green, and that's exactly what we want anyway. Hey, CB Gaming. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. In the age of ancient... No, I will not. The world was unformed. I will not, in fact, subscribe to you when I'm done streaming. Because I don't do shit like that. I am very, very particular with the people that I watch in my own time. And it is extremely likely, extremely likely, that you would not reach the quality standard that I have for that. <clears throat> and just in general, I'm not a fan of people just, you know, b begging for, like, subscriptions. I get it, because obviously I'm having a hard time, like, getting people to subscribe to me in this day and age, when YouTube's algorithm has fucked everybody over. But regardless, it is still annoying. My Apple O guys. The what? Excuse me? Uh, my apologies. Oh, that's what. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Barely anything has happened. Nothing really interesting has happened at all, actually. I don't even know if I have to actually sit at the bonfire in order to actually sleep at it. I've never actually figured that out. Either shield, so that's still there.
So I am going to be looking forward to this because obviously this is going to be a very, very changed run through of Dark Souls. And maybe I'll find some new weapons to actually like to, since everything has been reshuffled around and stats have been rebalanced. Because mostly, mostly, in my own Dark Souls playthroughs, I just stuck with sticking with, like, this Y-Hander in the very beginning of the game, just grabbing that, and then later on in the game, I would go, just go with the Halberd. <laughs> and never really change anything. So this guy used to not be here, this little archer guy that you're going to see in a second. Uh, that right. is changed because of Prepare to Die Again. So some new enemy locations we good. There are two different versions of the Prepare to Die Again mod. There's one that is the original creation, and then there's one that has easier difficulty, because apparently people complain about the difficulty of the mod. I went with ah. the uh, the normal difficulty because I'm a veteran and I feel like I can take it. But I'm also kind of worried because I, I saw a mention of like groups not being a thing in like the easy version, and it's like if you just throw like a million guys at me, then that's not really like proper difficulty. No. Oh, and this. Oh. So we're gonna have to see. Goodbye, my friend. Rest in pepperonis. What? I was actually watching a uh, day. Oh wow, you're right there too. I was actually watching Day Nine play through. Ah, oh, damn it. I knew I was going to screw that up. That's really tenuous. Probably just going to skip him. I was watching Day9 play through the uh, the remastered version and just how much he was uh, talking about it and just like espousing his love of Dark Souls as a series and the original game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they did make this a little bit harder, didn't they? Was his speech on the um, remaster anything notable? Uh, he did not talk about the re remaster specifically, at least while I was watching him. Right. I think he mostly doesn't know, like, all the changes that happened, because me and you have been talking about this in our own time, and we've been talking about just how much, like, the remaster should not be a thing on PC. They more or less should have given PC owners the remaster for free, because the original Dark Souls port is piss poor, needed to be fixed by a modder, and is not wasn't really acceptable even when it was made. But then they came out with the remastered version and they were like, we fixed it! Also, you have to pay $40 or $20 if you already own Dark Souls. And it's like, okay, great. And they never actually fixed it. I actually heard, I saw a review on the Steam store that said that they... So, Prepare to Die, Prepare to Die is the PC version of the game, obviously. But yeah. then there's also the previous like console per ports. They actually fixed bugs for the Prepare to Die version. For the remastered version, those bugs that were fixed for the Prepare to Die are back. So it's like they regressed in like certain ways. So it's not even that they fixed anything, they broke it. It's it's such a mixed bag, like the new remaster. Because it does have legitimately like cool things. I wonder if V-Sync is in the remaster, because that's actually a huge problem with, uh, that I personally have with this current version, is the lack of V-Sync. They hmm. don't have V-Sync, so I, I would have, like, massive tearing issues if I didn't force it on through my graphics card. Actually, I still have V-Sync issues, I'm seeing it a little bit. <laughs> So, uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is you're seeing that I'm not, but... Okay, so enough. you will not see it on stream. When it comes fair to enough. screen tearing, that is only on your own monitor. monitor. Because it's your monitor and the uh, your graphics card having a disagreement about frame rate. Okay. So I wonder... I guess... My very, very first question is whether Zweihander is still a thing. So let's let's go ahead and spend our levels. I'm gonna spend it on dexterity and strength because that's what I need to wield Zweihander. I'm just gonna try and use like my normal strategy and see how it works, and see what happens. Because it might be that specific weapons actually don't have changed locations. We're only gonna get like changed enemy locations and changed stats. 
So it might be easier or harder for me to wield Zweihander at the beginning. Gonna keep I wonder if the skeletons are still gonna be how they were. Yeah, I would imagine that they wouldn't have been changed, because they're very much like hard for a reason. Because they want... The, the, the design choice is to try and make sure that people don't go this way to start with. Alright, go and grab this. That's the Falcon. Zweihander isn't here. They they moved my Zweihander, Hilu. Oh. Those bastards. Well then. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna motherfucking die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna so fucking die! Please don't. Abuse the frames! Abuse the frames! <laughs> oh. Later, suckers! Wow. <laughs> sleep, sleep, sleep. Fuck yeah. Survived! Did it, Hilu. And and this is how you play Dark Souls. <laughs> Just roll. <laughs> Having problems? Just roll. Lost your girlfriend? Just roll. Uh, this must be a reference. I, 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 it is not a reference. It's just <laughs> so rolling in Dark Souls gives you invincibility frames. So in order yeah. to dodge attacks, that's what you do all the time. And yeah. obviously, that's what I was doing, like there to dodge the skeletons. Hmm. So, whether you're having collected a fair amount of souls just there, are you going to be uh, leveling at all, or is that? Uh, I'm mostly going to wait until I need to. Okay. If you'll remember, I have done a level one only run of Dark Souls, so leveling yeah. is just a nice thing, <laughs> a nice cherry on top for me at this point. It's not like, even necessary in order for me to be able to beat the game. Like, w once you've been in the game at level one, it's like, well, where do we go from here? I did hear about, I was just reading an article just before I started about somebody who had created a mod where every boss that you beat in Dark Souls, it grants you a permanent debuff. Oh. Is that something that you'd, like, enjoy at all? Uh, I don't think so. Not quite my thing. Interesting, but not quite my thing. I'm skilled at Dark Souls, but not that skilled. on the boss itself? Huh? What's up? Is the debuff dependent on the boss itself? Uh, so the thing is, is that it doesn't lay out... It, it actually does, like, the Dark Souls thing of not exactly telling you stuff. Hmm. But you get an item with a description of the debuff, and it might be cryptic, or it might not be so cryptic. So you aren't completely in the dark, but you do have to guess at the debuff that you just got. Right. There's actually a ton of mods that are appearing for Dark Souls. It is... Oh, hi! <laughs> That's kind of a funny location. I am the elevator man. Welcome to my elevator. Be gone. Oh. So I assume this guy wasn't here last time. Oh, no, 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 no. Not at all. Not even in the slightest. That is prepare to die again, coming in handy. Kicking in, so, uh, so I shall say. All right, I'm gonna check if S stock is down here. Oh, interesting, there's these guys here. So these guys, flame wielding guys. Oh, I used to not be here. These guys are new. Hmm. Doesn't make it so easy to loot this place now. Especially since there's actually a, a lot of them. And S stock is gone as well. So they very much got rid of like the early like you are now overpowered for the early game weapons. I see that there's a new possibly a new item right here, so I can grab that. I don't want to go like too far into this, obviously because of ghosts. For those of you who don't know, 
If I keep on going in this direction, there are ghosts that I won't be able to hit because I don't have the proper item for it. Oh, there... Oh, there wasn't an item. It was just the torch. Fuck. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if I can see any items. Hmm. I might go into the canyon just for a second just to see if there's any easy items. Because since they moved my favorite items, assumably there would be new stuff as well, even in places where I would normally not go. So Sounds let's, possible. So let's try it out. Uh, there was an item right here, and I'm gonna dance around in a second that was moved. Where are you guys coming from? <laughs> Jesus. So much of the flame wraiths. Ghouls, goblins, whatever you want to call these guys. Green Blossom, not exactly no helpful. No existing, how about that? Yeah, true. <laughs> it doesn't matter! They're dead! <laughs> I mean, they were dead before. <laughs> right? I mean, these are undead, yes? Uh, I mean... Between the alive and the living, you, you would think, but... You do offer a salient point. Uh, I'm gonna loot the poison dragon and probably get killed. But Sounds I'm like a good plan. curious to see about his items. So we did get a nice shield. Nice early game shield for our trouble. Hmm. Oh, dead. Very much so. Uh, I've got the Morning Star, so I can use that. Dragon Chris Shield. Very nice little early game thing. So I've got the Falchion and the Morning Star. Morning Star does more damage, but I think I might like the moveset of the Falchion a little bit more. How would you is actually pronounce this? Is Falchion or Falchion? I've always said Falchion, but I could be wrong. Totally getcha. Ooh, that's a cool little R2. And I've got a chance for a follow-up as well with the light attack. That is kind of cool, yeah. And that just straight up decimates that little guy. Okay. One thing that I saw that people were... Oh, interesting. I did a little backflip there. One thing I saw that people were concerned about in terms of one of these mods is that one of them actually makes it to where you can't backstab certain enemies in the game. Which ah. is a little bit of a debuff, but I, I kind of agree with it. Because they make it to where you can't backstab these silver knights that are later on in the game. And they're like, big enough dudes where it's like, yeah, I can understand that. Because the way the Dark Souls work is that normally with like big enough guys, you can't backstab them. You have to attack them just normally. Battle Axe. I actually use the Battle Axe quite a bit early on. Battle Axe and the Spite Club are one of only two weapons that you can wield if you're level one that are actually worth a damn. So if you're doing like a level one run of the game, <laughs> you're probably going to wield the Battle Axe. Fair enough. Although the Spite Club is generally agreed to be the best weapon overall in terms of like scaling and whatnot. But early on, Battle Axe is quite nice. Almost getting myself poisoned. First thing. Totally cool, totally fine. Rats are always pleasant. Adorable, cute little rats. I'm gonna lower the game volume, because I do think it's a little bit high for what I would normally want. Let's lower it to, like, right there. That should be good. Yeah, that sounds more natural. <clears throat> So, so far, I'm seeing, like, minor differences, but nothing that's making me go, like, wow. Like, I have not had, like, a, what are you doing your moment? Granted, I mean, the mod maker did say for Prepare to Die Again that they wouldn't, like, change the types of enemies that you see in areas. 
So you're not so going to see... So you're not suddenly going to see some kind of crazy dragon where you're not supposed to. Exactly. Hmm. Keep me an eye out for any new stuff. I think that the shopkeepers have had their inventories and what they sell, like, reshuffled. Just everything has been rebalanced. So I'm gonna have to see what they've got with this upcoming shopkeeper. I assume progression in terms of, like, story has not been changed? Like, you're not gonna go back to the asylum and suddenly enter Gwyn, Lord of Cinder? Nope. I did see that there there is a few things that were mentioned. I don't I don't know if they mentioned like a new boss fight, but new NPC fights were mentioned. Or new Ooh. NPCs. Both sound nice. Out of interest because, you know, I'm curious. The guy at the beginning that gives you the Estus Flasks. Uh huh. If you go back later without having killed him, he's there, but he's undead and stuff, right? Um, actually, both ways. Oh, so regardless of what you do. Yeah, regardless of what you do, he's going to be there and he's going to want to kill you. Right. Or somebody was... who looks like him. I never quite confirmed, like, 100% if that's somebody who's different or, or if that is just like him. Right. I think I'm gonna My get question back was the... going to be, uh, is there a difference in souls between the two of them? But I assume if they're... Probably. If... I would absolutely say that there's probably a difference in souls, because the guy that's there after is way harder. Yeah. Since yeah, he does, in fact, put up a fight instead of just dying. I think I'm yeah. gonna stick with the, the Falchion. Falchion. I don't like its moveset. At this I mean, early fine. juncture. Attack me. You know you wanna. There you go, good boy. Oh, hello, chest. You weren't here before. I must admit, VG, I don't know what Sense Fortress is. So Sense Fortress is a location in the game. Ah. Well, now. Then you... <laughs> All right, let's check out what our salesman has that is different from the norm. If there's anything not worth it, are you going to try for the katana? Uh... <laughs> You gotta understand, yo, when you kill a shopkeeper, he's dead. Yeah, that's why I'm asking if there's nothing that's worth it. Alright, chain. Chain is probably gonna be worth it, like, here, like, early on, possibly. Mm. I don't know, I kinda like going light right now. Let's see, spear might be a consideration, because I do like the more stabby kind of weapons. I could check the scimitar and see what the moveset is on that. Yeah, let's go ahead and try it. I'm gonna try the scimitar and the spear. See which one I like between those. Thank you kindly. You're welcome, my good man. Alright, and... Scimitar. So you have more puns on the way, eh? Scimitar is exactly like the Falcon. It just has two less damage than it. Fuck. Oh. Alright, Spear it is then. So the question is, is the Spear good? Spear is very good. It is a very, very decent, uh level Mid range a very very early game weapon blah 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 hmm. 
All right. Um, I am gonna grab those souls that I've been collecting. I'm gonna level up some stats here while we're at it. Now, normally, I would just be le hard leveling like strength and dexterity because I'd want the Zweihander at this point, but no Zweihander. Yeah. So I'll drop a point into dexterity and a point into vitality. Definitely have to remember that my vitality is something I want to upgrade as well. Anything else? Yes, there is. 8,000 souls! Oh my god! <gasps> well then. I just barely started the game and already we're overpowered. <laughs> I mean, I suppose this makes up for the lack of the, um, Zweihander. You've retracted the messages, VG? Oh, VG, don't worry. Just because I don't respond to it doesn't mean that I mind it. It's just that puns really aren't my thing. What's this ah, on the bridge? Me, Soul uh, of Proud search. Knight. Fair enough. I actually think they might have done that for like, oh. Oh, intro. Whoa, whoa! Hi, you, that's new. That was awesome! <laughs> Oh. Th this was an ambush spot, but they changed the ambush. Oh. You're not supposed to see Boulder Knights until later on. That's interesting. It's a slight, slight cheat, in my opinion. I, I would honestly say that Fog. preserving the nature of the spot by doing that like, you're supposed to not expect the ambush, and then they bring this in, and it makes sense, ish. You are next to dead. It's fine, it's fine. No worries, be happy. So the question is, is that one of those enemies that stays dead? Uh, that is an interesting question, because in for the Baldur Knights, most of them do stay dead when you kill them. At least for their original positions. Right. You say most. That's interesting. I honestly don't remember for the ones that do stay dead and the ones that don't stay dead in the original game. They, they're in a spot that's very easy to pass, so you don't spend that much time in it. Right. I'm slightly disappointed, honestly, in the mod so far. We're prepared to die again, anyway. Because these changed locations aren't changed, like, enough. There's enough of the original game, like, preserved that it mostly just feels like a normal run through right now. That's we're, gonna, we're gonna have to see. We are gonna have to see. Taurus Knight and Gargoyles. Super Interesting, next. that Archer location is new. Okay, I have never liked the geometry of this part. Fuck. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This is... Oh. All right, I'm out. I didn't even see any items. There's, there used to be items, like, up on that hill. This is getting very silly very fast. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> ah, okay, so they changed the item location. I've never actually gone on this ledge, because there's nothing here. It's 
funny that they, you know, have the geometry programmed in and not have something there. There might have been the item there, because I've never looked at that, but the archer wasn't there. That was a very nice location for the archer, I gotta say. That made a lot of sense. Hmm. Well done, PTDA devs. I heard the Black Knight. Oh. I'm wondering why I heard the Black Knight. <laughs> That's worrisome. Oh, there's a Balder Knight. There's another one there. Interesting that they're putting these here. I mean, I suppose, I mean, you know, having you having said that they were used in an area that's easily bypassable, I suppose that means that most people would not have. Well, not had bypassable for the average player. If when I say easily bypassable, I mean like it's easy to get through. So. Okay. Although I will say that that being said, they are underutilized. There's only like four of them. <laughs> well, yeah, fair enough then. Then yes, these deserve to be used more because these seem a lot more, I don't know. They Art. seem like something that you should have in the early game for this, just to, you know, kind of get people into combat with things that don't die in two hits. They're, they're difficult. And Dark Souls mm. is also, also already difficult. So like, it's okay for a player like me, for you, for seeing those guys your first time, that would've been awful. Right, fair enough. Hey, cat. Hey, you cat. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Oh my god, they changed the Black Knight with a, uh, a tower shield guy. Is this something that's doable? Um, Is it easier or harder? I would say easier, but give me a minute. <laughs> it's way more help, I'll save that much. This is gonna take a while. Especially if he surprises me. But you'll see his moveset is uh, way easier to counter. Hmm. It does seem a lot slower. Which yeah, given that's the, the nature kind of thing of that can area. surprise me. Oh. Oh. No, you don't, you fucker! <laughs> oh, right, huh. Things can drink, too. Some of them. Very, very few have Estus. Dig it. I can dig that location. So, question, was it worth it? Uh, let's see what the item is beyond and I'll tell you. Although the Titanite chart alone that he dropped was pretty cool. Okay. Blue tear stone string. I'm disappointed that that's still just there. That's the same item that was there before. Oh. Let me see, I should check down here and check and see if there's anything changed. Item locations don't seem to be changed. Anything that was like an item location in the original? Like stuff is missing, but I'm not noticing new locations. Right. Oh, except for the chest with the uh, the merchant, that was changed. This is true. So this is still a, you gotta keep your eyes peeled all around thing. Yes. Gotta go over in roots that I normally wouldn't go. Good job, my friend. Good job. 
think I hear a bonfire? I've always felt that there should be a bonfire here. Oh no, it's... Oh god, oh god. These guys can kill me. Eh, they're starting enemies, but they can be very, very aggressive. Oh. I don't like that there's guys here. I always kind of appreciated that this was a reprieve before the boss. Oh, let me grab the uh, the crystal lizard for a sec. See if he's still there. Yes, he is. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, I don't have a fucking... Okay, that was way harder than it should have been. Got him. <laughs> I'm extremely low on Estus. You have no Estus. Yes. <laughs> that too, that too. Salient point, salient point. I think it might just be the normal torches that I'm hearing, not like a new bonfire. Mm. Yeah, it probably is just the torches. So if I go down here, Havel's still here, right? There's no way in hell I'm fighting. Havel! He's changed. <laughs> they put him le one level up. <laughs> oh. I mean, I suppose that is just as much of a dirty move as the original. It's funny. <laughs> I'll give it that. Yeah. back to the bonfire, so I'm gonna have to fight through everything I just did, but that's okay. Let's, uh... I must ask, by the way. Um, What's up? Did Havel give any kind of audio cue? So you can hear his footsteps, like, really, really loudly, but that's about it. I was gonna say, because I would not have seen him. So arrows, I'm noticing, do, like, a lot... They have a different effect. I think they've got like some kind of like, debuff on them. Like when they hit me, I'm actually like stunned for a second. And they did not do that in the original version of the game. So they provide some amount of knockback. If you want to fill the chat, VG, how has your day been and what have you been up to? No, the knight does not stay dead. Huh. Oh, oh my god, I see that. Those guys creeping up. <laughs> wow, that guy just didn't care. He just jumped in. Suicidal little fellas, ain't they? I mean, they can't die again, right? They're dead. Or something. Th this yeah, game I do is agree. Oddly, um... I do agree, VG, that the arrows act more like actual arrows do. It's, a f and it's an effect that I quite like and that makes sense. They might have made it to where, like, archery is, like, more worth doing, because in the original Dark Souls, archery is not worth doing. In the slightest. <laughs> Is there any good ranged weapon? Nope. Well, magic. They moved this chest, huh? No, that's probably... <laughs> they moved that chest over to the, uh... To the shopkeeper. That's what they did. Now it makes sense. Was it the same item? I think so. So now the question is, why doesn't the shopkeeper have that item for sale if it's right in front of him? I hate that you're on top of the house. That's dumb.
Oh, hello, my friend. <clears throat> Care to join me for a spot of tea? about what I should take in the boss battle. I really don't have anything that's too high damage right now. God, and I've, I've spent all my Estus already. Heck. GG. This is not going to be an easy boss battle. Taurus Demon People never is. People like... tons of Titanite shards now. I only didn't get those until later. I kind of dig it because they are the necessary ingredient to like upgrading your weapons. Hmm. Oh, that's right, the barrel stays gone. That is a thing even in the original game. Uh. Yeah, that's that's something I completely forgot about though. Only having one Estus Flask to take into the boss battle. Oh boy. Could take humanity. In fact, I should be using humanity. I can't go online with these mods. Fair enough. I hate that you're there. That <laughs> fucking. <laughs> There's just a Balder Knight standing in the middle of the bridge where the trigger point is to summon the boss. Oh. There's only one archer up here when there used to be two archers. Well, I suppose that thing traded places then. It wasn't like it just kind of appeared for no reason. Well. I mean, it definitely appeared for no reason, but it was, you know. There's still two enemies on the bridge. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not Balder. It's, oh, that's interesting. NPC fight. I can't backstab you. So does this mean the Taurus demon just isn't here for now? Fucking goddamn it! I should have backed up. This is gonna be impossible. Oh boy. Hello, you. Kind of hoping that Taurus team will just attack him. Yes! Good boy. I have no idea what this magic's doing, so I'm kind of scared of it. This is insane. I kind of love this. This is an interesting redo of the fight. And honestly kind of entertaining. There we go. Now that the real boss is dead, uh, I guess it's time to take down the torch, Steve.
Okay, I think I can do this, actually. I don't know. Maybe I'll make a mistake here. Don't jinx it. There is no jinxing in Dark Souls. Oy. There's only fight! I... I I'm, I'm kind of impressed that I did that the first time. Go going. Well then. What a day. What a lovely, lovely day. <laughs> so would you compare this to a hard mode? Uh, yes. I can very much understand why people asked for a easier version of this. It's kind of being fun right me now for me. Hmm. Weird little placement for you. So Lair's still here. Hey, a son, bro. Tempted to steal the armor. Ah, hello. I no. no. <laughs> oh, I. The way I can. Wait, sign soapstone. Same as always. I'd be curious if they rebalanced any of the uh, the NPCs' stats. Suddenly, Soler just busts out radiant word or something and nukes you entirely. Don't kill me, 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 don't kill me. Why is there an enemy here? Fuck you, game. Fuck you, mod, I should say. Safe. Let me see. Endurance. Does endurance... I think that raises my stamina bar, which I would quite like at this point. Hmm. The point into dexterity. It does say that you can press back for an explanation. Oh, really? Uh... Parameter determining stamina, equipment load, and resistance to bleeding. Oh no, it even... Oh my god, in past playthroughs, that's why I couldn't wear goddamn anything. It determines equipment load. Wow. Hmm. Points and resistance are always wasted. <laughs> Alright, let's check out that Soul of a Proud Knight, see how many souls we get off of that. 2,000, is that enough to level up? I don't think so. No, it is enough for one. Uh, I want a little bit more health. And we are leveled as hell. <laughs> it will be interesting to see if my normal, like, over-leveling over-levels me even in this mod. Or if the mod Something will... to note is you are not using the Zweihander, or, you know, uh, what was the second one that you said that you prefer? Halberd? Yeah. So the Halberd will be coming up, so we'll see if that's in the same position or not. Okay. Oh, fuck. The, uh... <laughs> I'm actually kind of sad that we still haven't seen this Y-Hander. I wonder where they moved it to. I guess it makes sense that they moved it, because good god did it... Oh, did it was it overpowered in the early game. <laughs> a 
Okay, I did not need an archer here. Evil. Prepare to die again. Prepare to die again. <laughs> Basement key. Really? Interesting. That that is a changed location for that. Hmm. I think in order to go to the basement, I have to go back across the bridge. I won't Wait, worry about not, it. Wait, that's not that's not past Havel, is it? Mm, oh. Oh yeah, I think that is how you get to Havel normally. If you don't have the master key. Hmm. It's either that or to get into the depths, which, yeah, I think you're right. I think it is the ba the way to get to Havel. So if you didn't have the master key, as I do, then that would be the only way to get to Havel. Right. That's an interesting location for it. It would require backtracking normally. Hmm. And a mystery key. Is that normally there? No. But I forget what it goes to, by the way. Suppose it fits the name. <laughs> there are three archers on the bridge instead of two. I don't know. I'm going to be kind of disappointed if they just saw a difficulty as, like, let's increase the amount of enemies that are normally here. Good little boar, friend. Be kind. Recycle. <laughs> Kinda sad, I didn't get the drop. So the boar, when you kill him, he is a one-time kill, and you ha that is the only chance that you have in order to get the boar helm. Hmm. It is a somewhat rare drop. I don't know what the exact drop stat is, but based on experience, it feels like 50%. Or even lower. For a one-time enemy, that does seem kind of rubbish. Eh, you don't need it. It's just nice. Just nice has never justified anything. Okay, so you remember half the time that, you know, we spent in Terraria trying to farm bosses and such. And the, the one mercy with that is that farming bosses is possible, right? Uh-huh. But it's annoying as all fuck when all they do is drop the things that you don't want. True. This is a one-time enemy that has a chance to drop something, which is several times more infuriating. At least on my, in my opinion. It's just like, you, you've already got like helmets that do like about the same in terms of armor. And honestly, what like... Was that, it, a luring skull? Luring skull, I don't know what that does. You'd have to look that up. You might be my keyboard warrior for the stream. Google, tell me what this is. Genie, what the heck is this thing? <laughs> Lowering skull, dark souls. Ah, there still isn't a Black Knight here. Where did all the Black Knights go? A Luring Skull. It will be tossed in the direction of the character and be aimed up or down. Certain enemies within detection radius will attack the skull and temporarily ignore the player. Lasts 5 to 15 seconds. Throwing the skull at a wall instead of the ground is more effective, distracting enemies for a longer period of time. Is 
is such an awkward spot for this guy. The Black Knight's better suited for this. Because he actually chases you, whereas this guy doesn't. Not incredibly so, anyway. No, you fucker! Oh. Bastard's always trying to heal. No healing in my town. Lucerne! Interesting. That is a new location for that. I forget what the original location is. So you did just get a steel helm. <laughs> it's it's sort of like the halberd. Yeah, I did get that steel helm too, so we can check that out. Hello! My name is Broach. I am here to kill you. Hello! <laughs> the so only is that about... stronger or weaker than the halberd? Uh, we're gonna have to see. <laughs> I think off the top of my head it's stronger. Out the gate anyway. The halberd is one of the best weapons in terms of scaling. Like, you level that thing up and it will stay with you through the entire goddamn game. Now, just on the other side of that gate is the halberd's normal location. But, obviously, take a while to get there with it being locked off. You actually can, like, make it to where the guy can't lock the gate. But you have to be, like, skilled to do it and I never do it. I've never learned, like, the technique for it. This thing is awkward in close quarters. Oh, these tables! Are you freaking kidding me? My greatest foes. Tables. The architecture is a little bit, hmm. It's kind of always been that Invasive. way, just in the very, very few select spots in the original Dark Souls. The geometry would very much get in the way. It's kind of like Grand Theft Auto and how it's annoying with the things that are breakable and the things that aren't breakable. Like, every now and then you'll find that one fence that doesn't break where you're like, Why? It's flimsy! It's made of wood! <laughs> and then the same thing here, like, they're tables. They're, they're friggin' tables. I should be able to break them just as I've broken everything else up until this point. Barrels have been rotten and... Yeah. But no, those tables look flippin', like, thick as all hell and not actually, like, rotted, so... I oh, suppose. maybe I need to use the right hand? Interesting. Or maybe the ones downstairs are unbreakable, but these are breakable. Just to really piss you off. <laughs> so this weapon has a good little two-hit combo with the light attack. Uh, Balder Knight is no longer here. Black Knight is now here. <laughs> Hmm. Well then. I mean, theoretically, you should have already fought two of those. Damn. Damn. Oof, that is a lot of health. <gasps> oh god. Do barely, barely anything to him. Claymore, nice. Kind of felt that coming. <laughs> Worth it for the Claymore. It was 4,781 souls. Eh, worth it for the Claymore. Hmm. 
This has a really good move set. Quite like it. Um, one other thing. I almost forgot the item that was on the bridge, so yeah, it's good that I died. Two hundred damage on backstep, fuck yeah. Alright, where is that item? Ball or side sword, not worth. Oh. The name Scythe Sword sounds great though. Side sword. Oh, side sword. And also the items that are further up seem to be moved. I forgot to save at the uh, the ball the frickin' bonfire that's a little bit further up. Wait, or did I? I think the gate might be closed, and they might have changed that. Hmm. Gonna have to see. That's just this mod mod pack in a nutshell. Gonna have to see. Stabby, stabby you. Rats are going to be a lot easier to take on with this thing compared to the axe. So, as a person who hasn't seen much of this game's, like, uh, future stuff, are there any bosses which typically have, like, spawning additional enemies or anything? Yes. So there so is specifically one of the most infamous boss f bosses for the original Dark Souls, uh, the Capra Demon. Right. Which always oh, has... Oh, right, yeah, the two wolves or yeah, something? Yeah, the two wolves. You can actually uh, cheap them out. You can kill them through the fog gate. But most people will have to kill the dogs as well as the Capra Demon. All right, is this gate still closed? This gate still is closed, so you wouldn't have to maneuver around the dragon in order to get in there. Which is totally possible. Actually, don't even have to kill the dragon, usually. You just have to do it in a very specific way to get inside of there. Let me see, I wonder. I feel like trying to bypass a lot of this. That poison is still ticking, eh? Yeah, that's just gonna be there for quite a while. Second shot should have hit you, bastard. Remember the poison. Very aware. And there's usually a boulder knight. And that's unchanged. My god, man, just change everything. You know? I want to be surprised, so I installed this game with a surprise mod. And nothing's changed. Oh. Uh, fucking goddamn, how did that work? Oh, it was because the arrows. Oh, the arrows have stun now. Uh, I'm getting in trouble for trying to speedrun. I was seconds away from being able to save. By the way, that's the part of the game that I said was easy to bypass. But you and can, now in it's fact. Suddenly not. You can, in fact. Well, not even suddenly. You can, even in the original version, you could very much have difficulty doing that.
But wait, if you could, like, completely skip that altogether by stopping the guy from shutting the gate, then theoretically yep. you can completely bypass those guys and never see another one for the rest of the game. Mm, there's ones in the church that are right beyond the gate. Ah. God damn it. I'm just gonna die. <laughs> Poisoned again? Yeah. <laughs> worth it. Very worth it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Even the third one? <laughs> what? Even the third one. Oh, boy. There was, there was something absolutely glorious about that. Lemmings. Glorious <laughs> little lemmings. Oh, you're there. Goodbye, my friend. Never to be seen again. Ow! It didn't even hurt that much, it just had a meaty thud. Poisoned again. This is what this this was like the only thing that killed me, I think, really, was the poison. Yeah. So we're just gonna take this nice and carefully this time. There we go. It's easy. Friggin' easy. Illusory wall here. Darn. I would normally kill the Black Knights early on, especially for the chance to get the Glaive. But I don't have anything that's particularly powerful right now, so it would take Plus, a long time. you have no time. guarantee that it's gonna be the Glaive. Yeah. It's just a chance at a weapon. <laughs> That's how it works on the original run through VG. At the very least, illusory wall locations can't be changed. Or can they? Keep you guessing. <laughs> Keep you wondering. Oh, I was way too focused on what was going on in my legs. <laughs> Wow! Okay. I had a party going on. How could I possibly pay attention to what's going on ahead of me? I mean, this is true. Well, to be fair, the physics of this game are, are just amazing. The ragdoll Broke physics. Broke little fuck, but yeah. Most everything is pretty okay otherwise. Sort of, I don't know, there's oddity everywhere. Whenever you fall, you just fall in a very, very, like, straight Steep down. gravitational point. Granted, you are walking around in armor. That's not, you know, um, the lightest of things. Alright, not going to bother the Black Knight, not going to bother the Black Knight. He can have a happy-go-lucky life. For all I care. God, that always annoys me. I need you dead. Like right now. Oh. Oh, 
Awkward. Awkward. Oh, fucking god damn it. I just needed oh. him dead. Oh, I hate this. I don't think that one is there in the original. Like, the baller knight is there, but the other little skeleton dude is not there? I might I might be misremembering. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to know what's changed and what isn't when your memory is so terrible. I mean, yeah. One more time, from the top. Slow and careful. Use items if I have to. In fact, I might use some resin right there. Fine resin being the stuff that electrifies your sword. We can do this. You believe? I believe. I believe. We all believe. <laughs> Hello. Goodbye. That's a silly spot to put that guy when he just kills himself, basically. <laughs> Did it hit physically or was it just your ego? Both. Oh. Very much both. You think you can run? I mean, you did. Those three archers are still there. Well, yes, but I'm talking to the ghouls now. Let's not talk about the archers. They are symbol time wasters. And nothing more. They also carry souls. Bah, souls. Who needs souls? Don't you need souls? Like, everything that you do to level up? Well, yeah. But, once again, I did the level 1 run. Okay, but what about weapons? Don't they need things to level up? True, true. I did level up my weapons. Alright, I keep on getting killed here. Do you have a spell that you can just kind of drop on the guy on the right? I'm gonna electrify my uh, my sword. That's gonna be the strat, and I'll probably kill him in one hit. With that being a thing. I like how you're just able to carry the sword with the blade that's currently electrified resting on your shoulder. <laughs> details, details. You weren't kidding, that just nuked him. Yep. Yes, one and dodge. And my halberd's not here. This mod has literally mo removed all of my favorite weapons. <laughs> I feel personally attacked. I mean, what were you getting yourself into when you started this? I mean, I can imagine one of them, but the halberd was fine. It didn't overpower you that much. Well, That it... much? That's still a statement that's made me.
Oh. Interesting. There's ghouls in the church now. Uh, the shield knight is still there, though. We're gonna try and have the bonfire first. First and foremost. Does the gate stay open now? Yes. So even if we do die, we still do have that. That's good. I am probably not gonna die here. Hardest parts are over. They just want to die, that's what it is, VG. The tired of living. And, you know, being undead is very, kind of... ...not pleasant. Can you imagine, like, you know, going about your day and then suddenly your arm just drops off? I did not want to electrify again. Ugh. Clearly you did, his health was tiny, he absolutely had to have that. <laughs> Fair enough, compadre. Fair enough. And I put away my sword accidentally when I was doing that. I just gave him a nice back rub. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking god, I cannot believe... I hate that their shield actually protects them. It's this tiny little buckler. Are you saying that your shield should do the same? My shield is bigger than their shield. Granted, it doesn't protect my whole body, but details, details. <laughs> ah, gates open. There's at least that little bit of um, comfort with it. Why do I keep on putting away my sword? Uh. Yeah, some of them just do not care about stopping you from backstabbing. Granted, this was only the second game that ever had backstabbing, so the devs very much wanted you to be aware that it exists. It wasn't mm. until Bloodborne where they were like, yeah, let them figure it out. Especially since they changed the system entirely for backstabbing. In Bloodborne. It was no longer backstabbing. The way that it worked in Bloodborne is that you shot somebody at a very critical moment and then they were stunned for a little bit. And then you could go up to them and do about the same, just in front of them. Which is very much something that requires, like, a little bit of foreknowledge. I kind of knew that was coming. Pain. Hurt. I'm just gonna take two swigs. <laughs> Oftentimes I'll see people that just play the game with just like a little bit of health missing and it always bugs me. I'm very much a full health kind of guy. <laughs> Even if it can be seen as a little bit wasteful. Uh, is my internet okay? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, I can still hear you. Hear ye, hear ye. I'm getting stutter. I assume it's on my end. Uh, yeah. For the stream? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. I have zero drop frames. My internet has been kind of finicky lately, so if the uh, if the stream goes down, by the way, just wait for me to come back. Okay. Internet is always pissing me off. Alright, this time I might just make a run for the bonfire. I... let's... oh, why is this so hard? Things that are supposed to work aren't working! 
Oh. I jumped. Well, I should have been away. able to jump to the other side, yo. The geometry oh. stopped me. That, that geometry, yo, it's always bullying you. Should not be dying this much. This is bullshit. You know what it is? Is your scrub. This is true. <laughs> I don't have any right to say that shit to you. <laughs> it's kind of funny though. Yeah, it doesn't really justify it. The humor justifies all. Oh god. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Nope. Poison. Fuck. Whatever. Speedrunning it. Even though speed running keeps on getting me in trouble, but whatever. Details. It'll work this time. Trust me. Yeah, so heavy. That is a painful roll. Speed run! <laughs> Home free. You did it? Yep. Heck yeah. Assumably. Normally, the uh, the distance that the guys can run for doesn't make it to where they'll interfere with me rushing at the bonfire. Well, the bonfire... Mm. Hmm, I gotta remember. Bonfire is supposed to be changed. Bonfire locations aren't changed. Jesus, man. Change something. <laughs> Suddenly, the fight with the gargoyles does not happen on the roof. <laughs> Hey, Astora, what's going on? Andre! Right. What have you got for us? Weapon Smith Box, Armor Smith Box, Long Sword, Broad Sword, Bastard Sword. I don't even think that his inventory has changed. Is this guy worth keeping round? Uh, very much so. I I will not okay. I will not be killing any of the blacksmiths. They're how you upgrade Fair your enough. weapons, yo. Huh. That's just uh I don't know. Whoa. What's up? That's just bad as being weird. I'll be seeing you there. Let me see, okay, so there used to be like a little mini boss down here. Mini boss is still there. But he has an item next to him. I might be curious about what that item is. Upgraded soapstone. <laughs> How would you upgrade a soapstone? Night shield. Cool. Night shield is one of my favorite shields. Oh, hey, is that the one that the guy that was on the bridge had? Yeah. It's just slightly moved, honestly. Love this thing. So this is not the right way to go. I'm kind of experimenting a little bit here and seeing if we can get, like, an early, like, overpowered weapon anywhere here. Spiked club. <laughs> So pessimistic. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. It's Dark Souls. That's what you were going to say, wasn't it? Well, no, but I should have. 
prepare to cry. Interesting. These guys normally aren't here. Red lizard guy. The trees are in mostly the same spot. The red lizards are new. For the hmm. position, at least. Don't you dare make him go over the edge. I want his item. Whatever it is. Give me that green blossom. Not, not worth. Iron Great Axe. Hearing some odd sounds around. Let me see, where are we supposed to go from here? I have gone in the completely wrong direction, I suppose. I, I, I completely mean, forgot about- I walking in. Alright, I am gonna see if... Hmm, where's a good cutoff point? I don't know, I haven't been here. <laughs> Check and see what's in the ambush room? There's nothing in the ambush room, that's fucking dumb. Whatevs, I'm out. I assume the misty door there is going to something you don't want to do yet. Hey, Latrek! Yo! I, uh, I don't want to be here, honestly. I do know about the bonfire that you're talking about behind the illusory wall, but meh. Granted, I should check and see if that's moved. And if there's an item in its place. So, Latrek, uh, I am running two specific mods. I'm running a mod that cha- changes and rebalances all of the stats in the game. Why are you still moving? And then I'm and then I'm running a mod that changes like enemy positions. It's mostly just been adding enemies honestly. But there's been some interesting stuff like uh, shield knights instead of black knights for the most part. Taurus demon fight was a bit different. Yes, there was there's an NPC knight with the Taurus demon. So the specific mods of Trek are Prepare to Die Again and Rekindled, if you want to look into them at all. Latrek here, I'm actually very, very happy Latrek showed up because Latrek is one of the very, very few people who are in our little uh, clique who uh, plays Dark Souls as well. Fair enough. Okay. I assume Latrek would actually be... Um... A better commentator than me, then, I guess. Uh, I appreciate you, you commentating. All right. Uh, I should I should be wearing these rings, <laughs> just not wearing the rings at all. Hey, you picked up a few at the beginning, didn't you? I still haven't found, like, a weapon that I particularly like yet. Like, the Claymore is okay, but... Other than the Claymore, the only other notable weapon that I've found of late, Latrek, has been the, uh, the Lucerne. I should show you what arrows do. That's what arrows do, they stun you. <laughs> They have more of a bloody effect now, I've noticed. Hey, somebody killed the gargoyles just as we were dying. Oh, was that the bell ringing? Yep. Fair enough. I couldn't hear it, of course. But... You're a fan of the Claymore? I like... So, it's it's funny. I've already said this a few times, but they moved the position of the the uh, the halberd and the Zweihander, and those are my favorite weapons. We currently still have not found those. Oh! You bastard! 
He reposted me. <laughs> wow. I don't like it's the Gargoyle the, Halberd in terms of its moveset. Yeah, reposting is very hard to do, and because of that, it has a very high reward. Hmm. You have to do this little shield maneuver that I'm going to show you in a second at the exact time that you get you were about to get hit. Okay. I think I remember you telling me about this and I just couldn't get it. What you need to do is accidentally use the electricity again. Come on, I dare you. I double dog dare you. Fuck! That's such bullshit. There! gone with you. Jesus, man. I hate that there's wow. a Boulder Knight out here now. Along with all the other bull crap that I gotta deal with. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, and I still gotta deal with the Shield Knight. What a day. What a day. Come on. You said that multiplayer isn't really possible with um, with these mods installed, didn't you? Unless you want to like co-op and have somebody else install the same mods. Right. Hey, Azuru. Hello, Azuru. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. So to bring Azuru up to speed, we are running two different mods. Uh, Prepare to Die Again, and what was the other one? Rekindled. Rekindled. So what they do is, well, combined, they move item and enemy placements and such. And they rebalance items and enemies in the game. Aye. Together, it creates a... Very, very new experience for Dark Souls. At least that's the idea. It's been fairly random what all it changes and when it doesn't change things. We have had a few interesting instances of things happening though, like uh, Shield Knights instead of Dark Knights, an NPC fight alongside the uh, Taurus Demon, and yeah, the Halberd and the... Um... <laughs> I can't remember the name of it again. What was that? What was that? Oh! That's a sword. That's, that's a big sword. I'm a happy camper. It sounds it. This is going to be very interesting to try and make this work. Well, yeah, uh, Halberd and Zweihander were not where they were originally, and we Fuck. still haven't been able to find them. So, yeah, I think you're up to speed now. Oh, what? What? You came down? Since when? Since now, apparently. Find blessing. Oh boy. All right. I'm not Oof. gonna get. I'm not gonna get to the gargoyles right now. I'm gonna try and kill the summoner. 
summoner guy that's been throwing magic and magic at me up here is a one-time enemy. So once he's dead, he's dead permanently. Cool. So that's like objective one right now. Fuck. Great sword is so heavy. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, this is gonna take some doing. This is gonna take some doing. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if I might just strip all of my armor off. So I could take off the knight shield for sure. Hmm. I wonder if there's any souls that I've got. Got a few, but I don't think they give it give me too many souls. Wish I had Havel's ring right about now. Are you gonna go back and fight Havel? Possibly. up on this thing is insane. Yeah. Fuck. Okay, I think the greatsword is going to get me killed more often than not right now <laughs> with my current stats. You just got sliced and diced there, bro. Alright, what are you using instead? Although, honestly, I'm probably gonna chalk that up to... I know, I'll take all my armor off. <laughs> I needed to be faster. Being fast clearly didn't help. <laughs> oh well, we know that now. I mean, it can help if you got a fast weapon to go along with your fast temperament. Do you have a fast weapon? Uh, plenty. We'll go with the uh, with the claymore build and see how that goes for now. See if we can get the summer kill at least. healing. Nobody likes archers. Interesting, I didn't see this back here. And it's nothing. It's nothing! Ah, okay, your position was slightly changed. That's why you attacked me before. Oh, come on. I think the Balder Knight that used to be on the stairs is no longer here. So he's mostly just moved to like the middle of the room. Hmm. Decently okay with that. I suppose it does make it a bit more doable when you're not, you know, fighting a thing on the stairs. And assuming that the summoner lives up to his name, he's the one responsible for all the zombies right now, right? Yes. But the zombies will still respawn. Well, I don't know. Maybe he's not... 
I think I'm making up the summoner part. It's always what mm. I headcanon it as, because he's surrounded by these guys. But you never right. actually see them summon anything. Okay. You're just gonna, you're just gonna stay in your your magic pose there. Oh, he's not in a magic pose. Going. It's not worth it. I'm getting a cup of tea. Uh, oh damn it! <sighs> Good spot for a night. Fantastic spot. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a fan of that night. This was already <laughs> hard enough without that. <laughs> Fucking goddamn it! Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. This was what I signed so, up for. So hard mode, eh? Hard mode. So Lutrek, are you picking up Dark Souls Remastered? I wonder if we'll audibly be able to hear the laugh. Eh, everybody has different opinions on the remaster. Fair enough. Not everybody is as disgusted as you and I. That's fair. How is that not a repost? I'm that perfect. Kind of want it, but they don't know if it's worth it. Die like the dog you are. Don't know if it's worth it on the remaster. Well, playing it on PC? Not especially. If you know how to install DS Fix, you already have maybe the best part of the remaster. As far as we're aware, issues that were present before the um, Prepare to Die edition patches came through are still present in the remaster. Yeah. It's really, really a mixed bag with the remaster. Some nice stuff, some really awful decisions. And obviously I still stand by my opinion that it should have been a free update for PC owners. Well, not exactly an update. I think that they, they should have still had like the original on there, but like it should have been the special like the special editions for Bioshock, where Bethesda just gave away like those remasters to the original. Yeah, but I, is it Bethesda that owns, owns Bioshock? I could have sworn it was. Bethesda are the guys that own the Elder Scrolls and, and Fallout and Doom. and Doom, yeah, and Prey. Who owns, uh, Bioshock? Bioware? Probably. Googling! Bioshock. First person shooter video game series developed by Irrational Games. The first name under, the, under 2K Boston and 2K Australia. With 2K that were behind it as far as publisher is concerned. But yeah. Developers with 2K, Arcane Studios, Digital Extremes. Bioshock 1 and 2 got remastered and PC owners got them for free because... Come the hell on. We're on PC. So yeah, 2K with the publishers and the developers. Finally, the summoner's dead. Goodbye, summoner! You shall summon no more! Not that you ever did. I really 
don't want to die on this stupid guy. He's so low. What the fu- I did not press that button. <sighs> Whatever, Summoner's dead. <laughs> yeah, Latrek, I saw the change, the graphical change for the bonfires. It's so- it, it goes completely against, like, everything a remaster should do. Like, no, it does not make sense for, to make, like, the bonfires actual fire. They're spiritual. They're supposed to be ethereal. Like, anything that was, like, magical about Dark Souls, they kind of removed for the remaster. Hey guys, we're gonna explain all this shit with science. You know the undead? It's a plague. It was done uh, by mushrooms. VG, go into gaming news, I think was where we posted it. And there's a couple of images in there comparing like Dark Souls graphics on the Discord. One was a knight. The knight was actually one of the more, I don't know, al alarming things for me personally. Like, the armor just... Uh, the, the original version was scarred, and it actually had, like, you know, battle wear and such. The new one just looks clean. Yep. They got rid of battle wear for whatever reason. For a few armor items. We can't have this armor looking unclean! Not even a way that would look particularly, like, good. It must shine unnaturally. Like the fire we made. Wasting so much Estus and so much health. There's so much health on these Balder Knights. Maybe someday I'll find a weapon I actually like. Someone get a voice clip from Lord of the Rings. I really want to hear Aragorn say, "But it is not this day." <laughs> not on this day. Not on this eve. We ride. For the Rohirrim. <laughs> God, I need to rewatch. Or I mean, I I need to rewatch Dark Souls. I need to rewatch Lord of the Rings sometime. <laughs> Dark Souls, the movie! Lord of the Rings is the Dark Souls of movies. <laughs> uh, What's up, cat? Yep. I was told she would be leaving around like two, I think? It was just gonna be you. Okay, dope. Not feeling so good? No, I'm surprised you didn't me this morning. Uh, I kinda did. Kinda did. Gotcha. Uh, Fair enough. Dark Souls. Oh. There we go. Okay. Hi, you. Night, night. You're in a weird spot. Partisan. I do like the partisan. Is that just a big spear? Yep. <laughs> cool. Pokey stick for experts. Oh, it's not for experts. It's for us casuals. <laughs> the trick says you they say us casuals, but I don't think I'm a casual, mate. I'm, I'm way oh. before casual was even a thing. This, the, the... nah, you're just with me. We'll be bu best buds and casual in spirits, okay? <laughs> Chuck says they made armor seem new, but they removed an unnecessary shine. One thing he actually liked was the rebalancing of the longsword specifically. It does stellar damage now. Cool. 
I was wondering about that if they would have rebalanced some stuff. I'm curious to see all the changes like laid out. I've seen some of them, but not all of them. It's funny because somebody might actually come out with a mod to just like <laughs> all the remasters changes into just the original version. Since a lot of it is just programming, aside from the graphics. How is that not a backstab? Whoever did this mod, for the Prepare to Die Again mod, really, really loved Balder Knights. Or they were just slow. criminally underused, as you said, and, and now they're criminally overused. Like, actually criminally so. Like, we have to find the guy that did this and arrest him. Oh, the trick. Oh, so that's where the mystery key was used. Yep. I am going to die to the gargoyles. Please go to the store with me. Get ready. Okay, doke. Ah, uh, I guess that might be it for now. Honestly, not gonna get Fair much enough. time for another run. Okay then, um, are we ending here and now, or are we ending after next death or bonfire? Might as well happens? kill myself. Oh, okay. See if there's any items out here too. Doesn't seem to be the case. Soapstone 3. <laughs> how, how many levels up does the soapstone go in your head cannon? Listen, we, we don't have a limit. The unlimited power of the soapstone. so much. He never flew that much before. Alright, well, that will be fun to actually do some stuff. I am probably gonna have to do a little bit of grinding, like, off-stream before we come back. Because now I have access to the blacksmith, so I can actually upgrade my armor and whatever weapon I want. Cool. Might even do some leveling, so I can actually uh, wield that greatsword to a good effect. Um, there might be another stream for this, but there's also a lot of in interesting stuff coming up, so this might be a one-off. We'll have to see, everybody. For now, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Later, people. Later, everybody.